Yeah, 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 man. I want to be safe. All right, so explain to each gadget to me. Oh, uh, so that's, that's a real, it. that's a railroad spike that I hit a nigga with ten years ago. Mm -hmm. So I went and found another one. Uh, mm -hmm. I was really trying to run from him, mm -hmm. and I threw it at him, and it hit him, and it gave me time enough to get to the car. This here, this the thing they put Rodney King ass with. Okay. I ordered it out East Bay. They, they broke his wrist, and it's real for different. This a police. But Tom. Uh, oh, police shit for a police ass nigga or uh, that's just him? No, 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 no. Oh. It's it's it's, uh, it's it's for a, a crook or a criminal kind of nigga. Mm. Uh, for a nigga with a police kind of mindset, you know, a neighborhood crime watch kind of guy. Mm -hmm. This here is military tactical mace. It shoot out 25 feet. I can hit that nigga sitting out there by that extra sign right there. And it shoot out a, a, a jet stream and an OC gas straight. Is that the one you saw Soldier nah, Boy nah, with? No, 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 this ain't one that I got. So, why don't you sell that Mace bottle that you sold Soldier Boy with? Oh. Uh, I think somebody bought it. They can go on eBay. You think so? I mean. What about East Bay, where they sell the tennis shoes? They ain't got that shit no more. They ain't got East Bay no more? <laughs> no. Oh, well, shit, my bad. Indeed, these are brass knuckles. Yeah, niggas don't know nothing about brass knuckles no more. Mm. All niggas, nobody's gone shooting the niggas in the ass. Boy, you catch a nigga in the club with these here. You will surprise the shit out of him. You hit him in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He thinking he gonna go to the car and get the gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then you hit him with one of these, and then he won't even think about that gun no more. That was on wrestling. I think Triple H used to have uh, brass numbers. For real? Yeah, Triple H. I bought him at the gun store. This is my favorite weapon of all. That goddamn pig poker. This here psychologically scared nigga. You put it out on. Him. He thinking y'all for the fight, he talking shit. Yeah, nigga, I'll whoop you. Bitch ass nigga, what's up? And then you hold it like this here. See, the nigga in the penitentiary, Mexican taught me how to stab like this here at the nigga. All right, okay. Yeah, see, that's what the Mexicans taught me. He say, mm -hmm. niggas know how to fight. Say, them niggas know how to throw chingasso. He say, but they panic when they see their own blood. So I asked them niggas that been to prison, say, homie, what happened in the prison ride when them Mexicans pulled them knives out? He say, boy, them niggas ass take off running. They run toward the police. For real? Mm -hmm. Man, say, let me go run toward the police. Then I keep this in the sock right here. This old lock in the sock. <laughs> this old last resort right here. I packed this as a little boy in the sixth grade. My uncle used to tell me prison stories. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, uh, I grew up thinking I was gonna go to prison as a kid. So I learned how to pack a lock in the sock in the sixth grade. Mm -hmm. I whooped the white boy with it one time. You did? Yeah, yeah, white boy. Anything else? No, no, that's it. Anything else? Like oh, no, I'm lying, there's one more thing. Oh, okay. This my old military knife. Right? Okay. This real. I keep this here just in case I get in the car wreck and I gotta cut the seat belt, the seat belt cutter right there. Mm -hmm. Or if I fall in the car and fall in the water in the car, I can break the window in the water. Boom! And mm -hmm. get on up out of there. So you ready to use this like an X-Men member? Oh. Uh, I fantasize about a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so I try to stay ready and tactical in my mind. Mm -hmm. So this show, we just lay everything all out. <clears throat> I just did. So like right now, what is your relationship status with yourself? Shit, I masturbated yesterday. Oh, cleaned my ass real good this morning. Mm -hmm. Shit, I think I'm in love with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm in love with me. So like when you say in love with yourself, do you, why don't you keep yourself away from certain things then, if you love yourself that much? Oh, uh, cause the cause things I like to go to, I like. I love me to take me to them things. I like it. Mm -hmm. So will we ever get an old block documentary? Are you going down there just to blog? Fuck, I won't go down there with them crazy po niggas fuck. <laughs> nigga, they don't kill a nigga ass. They never killing each other. Just imagine what they'll do to me. Nigga, please, they killing each other. Nigga, they beat up a woman just recording some shit she didn't even mean to record. Hell, now I ain't gonna do that. They don't need no documentary. They turn that motherfucker down anyway. No, I'm talking about you. I just want you to blog. I feel like, because YouTube is very important, right? Yeah, you nigga, too. give me, give me, uh, give me some white boy shirts out of uh, Decatur, Georgia. Go down there to Mississippi, give me some of them goddamn snuff, hippin' white boy deputies. Mm -hmm. uh, few of them Rocker Island jail guards. And give me some of them USP prison people that they go send out there to the rise. Mm -hmm. I go out there like a motherfucker. Them niggas ain't gonna bother you with a bunch of white folks. So, but with yourself, you just wouldn't go By myself? There. Yeah. The fuck I'm gonna do that for? I ain't no, I don't wanna commit suicide. Yeah, nah, man, them niggas will eat my ass up. They find out I was getting off the plane. Yeah, they'll so, probably shoot, shoot me in front of the airport. They killed a nigga in front of the jailhouse, in front of the police station out yeah. there. They kill niggas out there. Yeah. But you can't yeah. fucking with them. I ain't heard nobody from Old Block say nothing about you. Uh, well, uh, I fuck with anybody that kill niggas. Mm -hmm. Ku Klux Klan ain't killing niggas so long. Uh, I don't even got to worry about them no more. So, I mean, what about 
the rap beef? Because I know you mentioned a lot of rappers' names that's yeah. irrelevant now. Why don't you beef with people in your age, like Ice T, Beastie Boys, and Slick Rick and KSR One? Nigga, I was a baby when them niggas were rapping. I ain't that goddamn old, <laughs> nigga. I ain't that motherfucking old, nigga. I'm 45 years old, nigga. I grew up listening to Beastie Boys and Ice T. I've been trying to beef with Jay Z. He's a little bit my age. Who else? Well, but Jay Z fucking... didn't kill no nigga. Jay Z so dope. He done kill plenty of niggas. He didn't make them buy it though, right? Yeah, he made it buy it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he did. Dope dealing niggas make the people buy it. They go to selling dope in the neighborhood. Easy, mm -hmm. accessible. Right. Yeah. So do you feel like people are wrong for passing out Halloween candy? I mean, what kind of goddamn question is that? Nigga passing out Halloween candy? I'm nigga. saying that, I mean, they get kids, so they can fuck up kids' teeth. I don't give a damn about them babies' teeth, nigga. Uh, them goddamn teeth go grow back. Them ain't permanent teeth, them little motherfuckers got in their mouth eating candy at Halloween time. Once mm -hmm. them motherfuckers fall out, they go come again. So how do you feel about successful business? Like, do you feel like they don't hire black folk? Really? Yeah, you got to go get a white boy to hire, get a nigga. A good but job. I'm just saying, like, how do you feel about successful business? Do you feel like they should just stay out the way and just do what's better for them and just kind of like yeah. mind their business and yeah. just? So why don't you mind your business? I'm not a successful motherfucking business. I'm a, I was a broke ass nigga playing community activist, trying to be like Dr. King, trying to, you know. Uh, try not to fuck all the hoes in the neighborhood, but still help the community, you know? Once I become successful, like I'm kind of getting out, I'm gonna leave them niggas ass alone. So what is successful to you? Oh, uh, when you can get far away from them niggas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get far away from a nigga that'll kick your ass. So you just woke up one day, so what is your journey? Cause I at start this seeing... point now, man, uh, yeah, yeah, at this point now, uh, niggas just have fun till you die. So you just woke up and said, fuck it, I'm just gonna say fuck the world? Uh, you give me like a, uh, Uncle Ruckus Tupac vibe. Nigga, how old is you? Dude, how the fuck you go put Tupac with Uncle Ruff? I mean, because look, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Tupac is like, fuck everybody, right? How you know I ain't got mental problems? Hmm? How you know I ain't got mental well, problems? Well, you didn't drop no pills down there. <laughs> I'm self-medicating. Break that down. Well, I get high every goddamn day. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get closer to God, so I smoke weed <clears throat> all day long till I go to sleep. But you do, you do know who this is, right? Yeah, I know who that is. Okay, and you know who that is, right? Uh uh, nigga find a picture with my eye looking like that nigga. You play a game, nigga. Yeah, that What do y'all got in common? Uh, they two niggas. That? Two bald head niggas. And too. what else do they know? Uh, like? One of them just a little bit more handsomer than the other. Mm -hmm. But you, you see us, you see any similarities? Mm -hmm. What you see? You think what you see me and that nigga look like? Yeah, I don't fuck with niggas. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with some good niggas I fuck so with. So how did your interview go with Jesse Lee Peterson? How do you feel about him? That was some weird shit. What was uh, weird yeah, about yeah, it? yeah. Uh he 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 was his questions was taking me all over, kinda like how you doing me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, t turn a nigga in circles. Mm -hmm. Uh you won't let me pivot. I can't yeah, nigga, I'm trying to sit back and relax and you asking all these crazy ass questions, got me thinking, what the fuck wrong with this nigga? Right. Where you getting these goddamn questions from? Why you got these big ass shoes on <laughs> sitting up for asking me all this shit, nigga? Mm -hmm. You fucking interview. If I thought we were finna have some live shit, man, I ain't no and this nigga britches unzip. Say, man, I got, I got. <laughs> say <laughs> Say, like, man, ask the next goddamn question. Man, this, this shit ready? gonna be crazy, y'all. Just yeah, come on, nigga, let's have some fun. But yeah, you think I look like that nigga? <laughs> no, not look, not. When last time you like... comb your hair? Yeah, I don't really comb it. I Is just it wake dry? up. It's a little moist. You ain't getting a whole bunch of pussy niggas walking out your goddamn head like that. So do you ever feel like, do you feel like you're gonna change your ways? Yeah, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tomorrow. Do you feel like you're acceptable? Like, people could accept you right yeah. when you walk in the room? No, yeah, no. Right, so you won't make it in the nursing home. Nigga, man, my babies ain't gonna put me in no motherfucking nursing home, nigga. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna, they ain't gonna do me like that. You think? Well, I don't know, but no, nah, they babies ain't they say me ho ain't gonna do me, man. My boy. But ain't when gonna you put get me. in there, how you gonna be? Are you gonna be antisocial in there? Nah, I'm gonna keep that dick out. Yeah, I'm gonna be a perverted old man. Uh, got them boys bringing me to see Alice up there. Us to, yeah, keep that dick heavy. I'm mm -hmm. gonna fuck in the nursing home. They put me in there. They had you saw they had them strippers up there for the nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's the most money you just throwed in the strip club? Speaking of strip clubs. Uh, I tip the waitress. I don't, I don't tip them hoes. Uh, the waitress working the rest of them home. If I'm gonna tip, I'm gonna buy some pussy. Mm. Yeah, yeah, bitch, when, what time you get out? I don't wanna get here. If I give you a hundred here and still got to try to buy some pussy and buy drinks for you know it, I done run up a seven, yeah. eight hundred dollar tax. I usually get up if I, like... if I just go in there and put my hands in my pocket and buy me a drink and, and, and fuck with that waitress, 
I can get some good pussy around $150, $200. $200? Shit, nigga, you don't want no $40 pussy, do you? Everybody can get that. Nah, this is usually, last time I paid it was like 1000 You fucking them young hoes. <laughs> you better go get one of them warehouse bitches just uh, stripping, <laughs> uh, stripping porn and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you better go get one of them young bitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
we got to, we done yeah. the crime together, nigga, let's do this together. So basically, if they had you on the first 48 hours, you don't need 48 hours. It's it's coming like that. Man, that, if, if, if. 48 hours, you right in the room. You gonna lay it all out, or you just gonna waste some time, or they need you, you need food, cigarettes, what are your recommendations Man, to tell? take a drink, nigga, you fucking with me. Uh, I'm telling before I get down now. Yeah, huh? yeah, I'm telling for I get, they don't need for 48 after I done something that bad. Uh, uh, yeah, nigga, I'm gonna go tell somebody what we did. Mm -hmm. And then they go tell us that we need to turn ourselves in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn myself in. So if your son was to commit a crime, and he come home and he had money, they robbed the bank, what are you doing? You turn them in? or yeah, you, I'm turning his ass in. What are you doing with the money? Are you taking half or are you sending it all back? I'm keeping all that goddamn money. What y'all done went and done? Mm -hmm. yeah. Give me this money and I'm gonna make sure you got some when you get out. Cause I got to come see you anyway, nigga. Now go on let them wife get them wife over my wrist. Shouldn't have brought it here. Where the money, sir? I don't know what money they brought over here. They have no goddamn money. I'm just, I just know the boy was involved in this shit. Mm -hmm. uh, fast as you can point. Can we see that? One more time. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still heard how to tell him. Now I'm a little bitty boy. Mama and them used to go, he did it right there, mama, they did, he did it. Yeah, now mama and them say, have y'all been good? Now, mama, we been fussing and, and looking at them nasty movies. What nasty movies? Them nasty movies that Uncle Wayne got over there in the corner. Y'all was an honest little boy, I'm an honest man. Mm -hmm. I'm brutally honest. Ain't nothing like self-rewards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, ain't like working out. You really don't get a bunch of rewards for me. That's a self-reward. Right. Yeah, 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 snitching is something you pat yourself on the back for. So you wake up in a day and then what's the first thing on your mind? Get on YouTube and fuck with people. Before I can even, before I can even get my ass in the shower, oh good nigga, I'm thinking about getting on YouTube balls and a hundred thousand motherfuckers for nothing. Mm -hmm. So how did your, how did you see, did you see like your views and everything increasing and you was just like, I got them right where I want them? Because if you really get under people's skin, all they have to do is not pay attention to you. Yeah, yeah, I might. If they do that, I go sit on the bridge and think on my feet and make the news. Mm -hmm. They charged us with a jump. She said, how these beauty people done gave me all this attention? Now they done took it away? Mm -hmm. Shit, I'm gonna do something extreme to go mm -hmm. viral. Are you gonna jump? No. Oh. But I'm gonna sit there like I am. So I really- Might shoot myself in the lead. I feel like you and Soldier Boy could just sit down and have like a conversation. Man, man, I feel like y'all can learn a lot from each other. I, I, I couldn't be in the same room with Soldier Boy, man. I'm suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder from the Miami incident. I'm, I'm babbling with erectile dysfunctions. I can't fuck how I used to fuck. Man, this boy can't be in the same room, man. Man, that boy, that boy, that been no. Also, this is like it a, was law, dangerous. a lawsuit coming. You goddamn right, nigga. I'm man, tell yeah. <laughs> I'm fucked up over this shit. Nigga, man, tell yeah. I can see you. your eye twitching too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my balls done shriveled up. Like it's cold in here. Mm -hmm. Normally, that don't do that do that during the winter time. So you ain't been the same since that incident? Man, I have not been the same. I don't think I'm gonna ever be the same since that incident. I'm paranoid in public now. Man, I've been having dreams about all different kind of rappers and things. Man, I'm listening to rap songs I ain't even listened to before because mm -hmm. of that. You listen to rap? Yeah, every like day. Heart rapping. I like Lil Baby. I listen to that little boy, Lil Baby. I like T.I. What about the Osley Brothers? I used to steal cars listening to the Osley Brothers. Mm -hmm. I like Anita Baker. Uh, Uncle Wayne used to jump jump on his prostitutes and slap them listening to Anita Baker, so I like Anita Baker. Celebrity boxing match, would you do it with somebody if they put up the cash? Yeah. And they just want to fight. They yeah. even gotta, they win, you get it anyway. Yeah, Fetty Wap. It gotta be another one eye nigga. Yeah, nigga fight me, he gotta put his eye out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he gotta be willing to put his eye out. That what about Flavor Flay? Flavor Flay? Yeah. Think you can take him? Hell no, nigga, you ain't finna fuck with Flavor Flay. Ugly nigga like that been kicking niggas ass all they like. Yeah, man, give me one of them handsome niggas. Yeah, one of them yelling, I'll be sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, give me I'll be sure. Nigga, you give, give me that nigga, that ain't, but now nah, Flay don't hurt somebody. How you feel about his dance moves? Man, y'all know that nigga old. Yeah, you yeah, goddamn. Man, back in the day, man, genuine fuck all our women. Now y'all wanna fuck with him because it hip still. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, man, that's the man hip be still, man. Yeah, can't none of us fuck like we used to fuck when we were young bucks. Man, goddamn, man. Oh, uh, his head moved pretty good, though. His neck moved good. Mm -hmm. Y'all want his feet to still be that good? <clears throat> Favorite R&B song? Uh, Love in the Club mm -hmm. uh, with Beyonce and Usher. Have you heard Shots in the Club? Nah, I ain't never Featuring heard. Charles White? <laughs> nah, I ain't never heard that one, Jack. Nah, no, we heard it on the internet. Oh, y'all did? Yeah. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. What What makes you happy? Because it seemed like we don't uh, know what makes you happy. Fried pork chops. Uh, uh, 
See, I just need some pussy once on the weekends. I ain't got to fuck every day. Mm -hmm. But eating breakfast, a nice hot shower, clean sheets, white neighbors, mm -hmm. pussy that you can calm in uh, with no rubber. Mm -hmm. Oh, and shit, nigga, I'm, I'm all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 I'm all so right. So why don't you get that and stay out the way? I got all that. Yeah, yeah, I got why all that. Why you don't stay out the way? Oh, uh, well, uh, I like living dangerously, you know? I don't, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I like living dangerously. You know, kind of like a young person. You like living dangerously? Why do y'all want to go to old block then? Oh, uh, I don't want to die. It's a difference between dying and living dangerously. <laughs> uh, the crocodile man didn't know that steam ray would go sting him. Mm -hmm. He dangerous motherfucker. Boy, fuck with crocodile. But he didn't know the steam ray would go get him. Mm -hmm. So let me live dangerous and if the stingray get me, let the stingray get me. But what would the you, fuck I'm gonna jump in the river full of crocodiles for? You never seen a crocodile man do that. Would you consider yourself an OG? Fuck no, nah, nigga, all the OG broke. Y'all the OG broke somewhere sitting at the park telling stories. Oh, I'm on YouTube telling stories, getting money. Yeah, I ain't no motherfucking OG. Mm -hmm. And know. women listen to me. Don't nobody, don't no hoe listen to no OG. OG can't tell a bitch nothing. That's mm -hmm. why he's telling all this young, this nigga something. Is there any celebrity crush that you do want to hit? Or for like, if she slide in your DM or anybody's DMs you slide in? Man, I ain't finna say that. Why not? Oh. I mean, the cameras, this won't come out. Oh. You can say it. You're safe here. I can no say cameras it. are not working. Camera cut. Camera cut. Man, you know everybody want to fuck Beyonce. All right. The fact that the cameras are rolling. I want to fuck Beyonce, make love to that one man, put that dick all up in them. Uh, and, and what's that other girl, man? Uh, I sure hate to say this too, but I want to get that Britney Runner. You hear me? You do? Yeah, that Britney Runner. And I want to get that motherfucker in Russia too. Mm -hmm. The one they left in Russia. Mm, uh, the basketball player. That, yeah, that bitch that got caught that weed over there. Boy, I put mm. so good right now. Boy, she a damn near go straight to come on. Yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo, we. we got you in 4K. We good. Yeah, I ain't say I not an authorization sheet to release this shit, nigga. Yeah, nah, y'all don't give a damn. I, I want to fuck her, nigga. Fuck it. Release it. Yeah, mm -hmm. they might release her so I can fuck her. I mean, <clears throat> do you got in the queue last long? Shit, that's the question. I got some coffee I take. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I got some coffee. Make that dick heavy like that hot link in the pot when it get ready by about the bucket. <laughs> mm -hmm. Had them up with heavy. It be looking like it's hard, but it don't be hard. So yeah, I can stay ready because it's still going to go in there. First Soft. Thing. First and thing. it's natural coffee, too. <laughs> Yeah, it's natural too. You you can just drink it on the regular day, even when you ain't fucking, and put you some gray sweatpants on and be a hero in the neighborhood. What's the first thing neighborhood? you doing when you get put in a headlock? You gonna bite their arm? I'm See? on I'm on I'm on bite that motherfucking side and grab them nuts. Mm -hmm. I'm on grab them nuts and twist and pull. Mm -hmm. It's like a release button. Mm, you used to play the little bop it toy. No, nah, nigga, every boy know when we used to wrestle, nigga, you grab a nigga nuts, he go jump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ain't no nigga, man. Them nuts are bad. Them nuts so are bad. So happened when your nuts get grabbed? Oh. Uh, I'm gonna let go whatever I'm letting go, whatever I'm trying to hold on to. Hey, 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 yeah, nigga, I'm gonna release. Actually, good. I got some big balls, so hell yeah, it's gonna hurt to grab these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I ain't no little nut nigga. I got somebody that uh, wants to meet you too over FaceTime. A big celebrity. <clears throat> Nothing crazy, so you ain't got to prepare for that, you know? That's all right. I got plenty of shit down there, boy. <clears throat> nah, this on FaceTime. You you hurt somebody through FaceTime? I break the goddamn phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> Smash that motherfucker with that, with that lock right there. It's gonna hurt something. I don't hear we go, my brother. Hey, man, look here, man. What 50 Cent do? Not a goddamn thing. You, you could have been on no pirate. You probably fucked that up. You could have been a cop on the show. Yeah, I like to bust that little Meech motherfucker. Yeah, you show sure right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like to put that little Meech. Yeah, you put him in jail like his daddy. <laughs> so do you go to church? Hell no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stopped going to church uh, when the preacher kept asking for money. The preacher told my wife, you just pay your tithes more, he'll quit cheating on you. Say, nigga, you... Trying to play on my bitch. 